form is clearly more important than function for most of the teapots on exhibit at the Arthur Fuller Craft Museum. It's a challenge to find the spout, the handle, or the lid on most of these playful pots, which have come a long way from the carved trompe l'oeil teapots of 15th century China. These aren't the kind of pots you'd actually use for brewing tea, and collector Arthur Goldberg says he's not a tea drinker anyway. His obsession began 11 years ago when he was looking for a present for his daughter. My name is Arthur Goldberg. Okay. When did you start collecting teapots? About, about 12 or 13 years ago. And how many do you have? Uh, I haven't really counted, but it's somewhere between two or three hundred. Are any of them usable as teapots? Oh, uh, many of them are usable, although they've never been used for tea. Okay. Uh, some of some of them, about half of them are usable. Okay. And how did you get inspired to collect teapots? Uh, I was looking for a gift for my daughter when she uh, graduated from medical school. I knew that she she drank tea, but I, so I bought her a teapot. And that became a, a passion of mine. What's the most you ever spent on a teapot? I'm not going to say. Okay. <laughs> Leslie Farron, Farron Gallery, Pittsfield, Massachusetts. Okay. Um, what's the name of the book that you wrote? Teapots Transform, Subject to Object. And it's about the history of teapots? It's a short history of uh, contemporary teapots, 1950 to present. When did teapots go from being a kitchen utensil to being an art form? Um, I think there's always been a decorative um, purpose to teapots and ceramics, a celebratory, uh, commemorative, um, you know, even the earliest pieces had references to nature. So I, I think it's always been a give and take between function and the decorative components to it. I'd say the 80s were the years that it took off in the, in the contemporary craft arena and became a figural narrative extension of um, you know, the ceramic functional teapot and later became a subject matter for uh, figural sculpture, narrative sculpture. Okay. Uh, this is a teapot by Jason Walker, who's an artist from Bellingham, Washington. It's a porcelain piece that um, it's sculpted in several different parts, and you have a base, the second base, the body, the spout, the handle, and it, I, I think of it as a very complete expression of the contemporary teapot because it's artistic, it uh, references the form, but it's not dominated by it, it has all the necessary elements. Um, and it tells this artist's particular story, which is that conflict or um, intersection between man and nature. Mm -hmm.